POV, you actually love your course. Or is that too obnoxious and privileged? Uh, POV, you're really good at gaslighting yourself into loving your course. Maybe love is a strong word. POV, you make a YouTube video to condense all the fun and exciting, but still Reddit, but still re little, still relatively mundane parts of your college life to project an unrealistic and somewhat romanticized idea of what pursuing higher education looks like to fit social media. Sequence 1A, shot 1, take 1. Sequence A, take shot, shot B. <laughs> Moving out time. They do be pushed. She! Drip. Drip. This is Burr. She's gonna be my roommate and she's my most favorite person ever. Guess where I'm moving? With me, bitch. One of the most chaotic chunks of my life right now is the living situation. I'm not. I have been working on making my condo over for probably like a year now. But on top of the nature of my course, the physical and mental exhaustion is real. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Get the gun out of my face! <laughs> All my stuff are here now. <laughs> Why did you tell me? I can't breathe. Chasing stars and holding you. We have this thing called leap where we have to attend some kind of class or talk. It's a lazy day. Then a leap class about vlogging. Is it not? It's literally called vlogs. On my way to attend hashtag in the middle. Asa matayo. Backstage pa So we're going to watch vlogs today. We're gonna go vlogception. Yeah. I'm gonna vlog influencers talking about their vlogs. <laughs> vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not bullying. It's just that one song, so it's just quite awkward. That's true. For like a solid 30 minutes, they were just singing. Anyways, we're kami. Because even though it's you and week, we have so much shit to do. Ma'am. We're supposed to be talking about vlogs right now, no? Aqua Floss! The grip of a woman. Wait, I'm on drip today. What do you mean, it's drip? No, 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 no. Okay, you live week haul. So we got a milk tea that I can't fucking drink. They're so generous this year. <gasps> so na lang kayo. I'll eat the. Hello. I'll give it. Oh fuck. 3.5 out of 10. And then which is the reviews? <laughs> 4.5 kung crunchy siya. Pero parang kunat na eh. Um, my, hello, my. Mga mga kay Jovali. Ha ho. Dito niyan ko my mom. I prefer the original flavor. Ganyan naman talaga yung ano yung... Hindi ah. Oh hey, hello connoisseur. <laughs> In today's video, I will be taste testing four of the same kind. Excuse me, bottles. Yung bote yung ano yun mo. Sige nga, itis mo nga yung bote. It tastes like plastic. Um. Okay, work time. Probably one of my favorite classes this term is my producing for film class, mostly because our professor always commends us at it and feeds my self esteem and it makes me feel like even though I didn't get to go to film school, I still kind of got it. Sequence 11, shot B, take 3. Yeah! Zach! <laughs> Zach! <laughs> Zach! Wait lang. Wait lang. Please don't open the door. 
Huwag kang huwag kang lumabas. Lumabas. Ipin ko na mag-type ka, mag-type kasi, mag-type kasi. Ganda putang ina niyo lahat. Bilis ka makapag. We were assigned to think of a marginalized community and look for convergent media and communications related solutions to help them. I had this idea of interviewing the bereaved family members of Duterte's EJK victims. So these are wives, mothers, sisters of those who were unjustly killed because of the war on drugs campaign. I'm not gonna share any recordings on here, of course, to protect their privacy, but I'm just gonna share some findings. One, the war on drugs is still ongoing. Even if it's not being explicitly shared, people are still dying and most if not all of them are just the poor as a result they're left with even more financial burdens after losing a provider um, paying for burials and more second if only one person is killed you affect so many other people you affect their children their family and their friends these people are grieving having your loved one die from an accident or from sickness is one thing but having your loved one killed that's a different type of trauma and anxiety all i did was listen to them and it's truly heavy and heartbreaking all of roommates and i were struggling not to cry the whole time and lastly, it has been proven from time to time again that drug addiction is a mental health problem. Health problem. Therefore, it requires health solutions, not law enforcement nor violence. A murderer will always be a murderer, whether or not they do drugs. Just like how your boyfriend will always cheat on you regardless if he's drunk or not. You get the point. It's a terrible analogy, but you get it. Drugs are its own separate thing. Heck, your favorite artists do drugs. If Brightman Rock were still here, he'd be criminalized. Anyways, destigmatized it, educate people about it, and stop criminalizing it under the guise of protection. I will share this though, one of the communities we reached out to is Silingan Coffee. It's run by a brother and other employees are women who are victims of the EJK. So their cafe is dedicated to continuing telling and retelling their stories. So if you guys want to support them while still having some fire coffee, you should definitely stop by. It would help their families and their cause very much. They are located in Cubao Expo in Quezon City. Yung may kaldag daw. Sige. Uy. Mas matagal din. Wala bang wow! Some classes, however, focus more on technicality rather than concept and ethics, void of any deeper purpose other than capitalism, really. Thanks, Soju. Why naman naging food trip tong class <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to my Lato Lato. For one of our productions, we did a You Belong With Me music video, except instead of the lead gal pining over the man, it's a plot twist, and she was actually gay the whole time. <laughs> Wala! 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 Wala!
White shot to, diba? Ah, uh, white shot. So, mid shot. Another project we did was an ad in which we chose to do 7 Eleven and do a play on the Filipino bug bug superstition. Also, can I just say how absolute garbage it is that we have our finals during rainy season? Like, production students and rainy season. I live in constant fear of rainy audio and exterior sequences. Other than our own productions, however, my group of friends and I help each other out both on and off camera when we're not roommates because we don't trust anyone. Everyone lets us down. <laughs> um, this one is for Manny and Ella's finals for a production class. We check the JC, my cheesemies. My cheesemies. The crew. The crew. Oh, wow. <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> for one of our final shoots, we reused a script I submitted from my screenwriting class. It's about a vegan man hoards food to the point of spoilage in order to continuously meet the man he has fallen for. <laughs> I should be such a bitch. It's not Angel's vlog, it's Ella's vlog. I felt assaulted. What was the reason? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Make drama like the Kardashians. Kardashians. Oh my god! Call the cops! <laughs> Outro!